One of the most difficult things for any beginner is to try to focus in on what exactly you should do first. There are so many things that you could do to promote your merchant's products that sometimes it can be overwhelming and so you might fall into the temptation of not doing anything and that would be a shame because 80 to 90 percent of the other affiliates who who registered for your merchants affiliate program aren't doing anything they gave up so all you have to do is try something and there's a high probability that if you take take one of these steps that I'm going to outline that during the course of the following weeks months or possibly throughout the year the changes that you make in the next few minutes even if you don't do another thing there's a high probability that you're going to generate an affiliate commission you're going to generate a sale so let's go ahead and dive in I'll show you what some of these are and this is what I call the set it and forget it approach again this is I, I want to give you some ideas that you can put into action right now that uh, possibly could generate a sales commission 11 months from now even if you never do another thing so what would these activities be well first and foremost step one would be to change your email signature if you're not familiar with the email signature it's a very infrequently used spot at the bottom of an email so you can set up a little blurb with a link in it and that's where you're going to use your affiliate link and this is a signature that a little byline that you could put at the bottom of your email set it up in your email service whether you're using uh, Gmail or AOL, Hotmail, or you've got your ISP has has an email account for you and you're using Outlook on your computer. Uh, no matter how you're sending and receiving email, you can add a signature. So what you want to do is you want to go to Google and search for change email signature and then put in the name of your email service. So let me give you an example real quick. And let's go over here. So I just typed in Outlook email signature and right here from Microsoft are a couple links about how to modify your email signatures and I'm sure they've got instructions that are very detailed and very specific to whatever version of Outlook you're using. So you can make this out, um, AOL email signature, uh, Hotmail e email signature, whatever it happens to be, you can find it on Google. So then what you want to do is you want to grab your affiliate link, which would be this. I want to grab this. You want to put this right here into the email signature. And you want to uh, put a byline or a, something that would tell someone what the link is about. And just make it one or two sentences. One sentence would be best. And then the idea is that, sure, not a lot of your friends or family members or co-workers are going to click the link and make a purchase. That's not the point. The point is that it takes you about five minutes to change your email signature and then imagine 365 days out of the year you're sending dozens of emails. I mean that's what, that's what we all do. We, whether we're surfing online or looking at YouTube videos or we're doing research every single day we're sending emails or almost every single day. It's one of the most common things that we do online so this is a way that you can take a very simple step now and who knows maybe next week maybe next month or maybe 11 months from now someone's going to see that link they're going to be curious click it and go to your merchants website and they just might make a purchase step number two is the same thing except you're going to do it with your forum signature um, you may or may not already participate in a forum. A forum is an online meeting place where people discuss uh, hobbies or they discuss, they can discuss really pretty much anything. They have forums for pretty much every niche and I can't cover all the details about forum marketing in this video tu tutorial but uh, in another training video I'll, I'll show you how to find forums very specific to, uh, to your niche market. So you want to check and make sure, if you participate in a forum, you want to check and make sure that your forum allows promotional signatures because you're going to link, more, more than likely you're going to create a link to your merchant's website um, or you can link to your own website and then try to link out to your merchant's website. But the easiest way, is again, is to grab that affiliate link right here and highlight it, right click it and copy it and then paste that in with a sentence that describes what what the merchant is promoting. So you want to go in and more than likely you're going to modify what's called your profile. So you're going to log in at, uh, under your forum account, 
click on profile, update your signature with your affiliate link and some short text. Again, it's extremely important to check the forum rules. If they don't allow promotional signatures like that and you put in a promotional signature, very quickly you're going to have your signature removed from your profile by the forum administrator and you might get yourself banned from that forum altogether. It's not something you want to do, but there's lots of forums out there that, uh, that allow you to put promotional signatures in there. So, in a nutshell, just those two things will take you a long way towards, uh, towards actions that you can take today that will uh, have a high probability of generating a commission down the road. Now, let me move on and go into, into some action steps that are not necessarily set it and forget it, but I'm going to give you some, some tips on how to make uh, your job of promoting your merchants, products, and services easier, because this really does not have to be difficult at all. Step number three, set up a blog. Now you've probably heard of a blog. Uh, it's basically just a website with some software set up to make it very easy for you to add, edit, and delete content on your website. But you don't even need to have your own website. If you do have your own website, if you register your own domain name, uh, you can register it at godaddy.com and then I would recommend you go get wordpress.org software and I've got another video training tutorial that goes into great detail about uh, the process that I would use, the same process that I use, to set up your WordPress blog. So I have some very specific recommendations in another training video tutorial. Okay, there's another way to do this, and that's it's quick, it's easy, it's free. Um, it's not necessarily perfect from the standpoint of longevity, but still, to get up and running very quickly, you could go to WordPress.com or Blogger.com and sign up for a free account. So in a matter of minutes, you could have your own website and you could be writing an article about your merchants products and services so if setting up your own website is a little bit daunting please head over to wordpress.com or blogger.com and i promise you in five minutes you'll be writing your first article now what i would recommend is to go ahead and write several blog posts as many as you can right now and think of a blog post as an article that's all it is is an article go ahead and write them and then set them to publish um, uh, publish two every week. So what I'm saying is that you can write 12 of them now and have two, like one publish online tomorrow and one go online three days later and then one go online three days after that. And so you can schedule these things out. So you could write all 12 now and have them drip out onto the web in a predetermined sequence. Now you're probably wondering to yourself, what will I write about? That's the biggest roadblock that prevents anyone from uh, from writing a blog into keeping up with it. It's a lot easier, I can tell you, if you have an idea bank. If I was sending you ideas, if I was sending you an email every single day saying, hey, here's some, here's a new uh, news article, here's something on the news on CNN about, about this topic, here's something uh, that someone else wrote on their other blog about this. Hey, here's a YouTube video about this topic. And it was all related to, somehow related to your merchants product, then it's going to be easier for you to come up with ideas, even if you're just taking the model of the reporter and saying, hey, look, I stumbled across this. Check this out. Um, you can also um, talk, talk about your story. Um, you could say, hey, here's the problem that I had. Here's uh, I went looking for a solution. I found this, but it didn't work. But then I found this other great product sold by this merchant over here, and I highly recommend that you use it. So you could break that up into a couple different articles. So how do you go about getting these ideas sent to you? Well, I'm not going to do it, but guess what? Google will. Uh, they're already scouring the web looking for new content, and you can go to Google Alerts, and let me show you how you do that. All you're going to do is go to Google and type in Google Alerts, and click on that first link that comes up, and sign up for Google Alerts, and they will send you ideas in your inbox, things that they find on popular news sites, on blogs. Uh, sometimes they'll send you articles on article directories. This is a great way to have, um, you can have it sent to you every day, uh, a list of things that Google thinks are relevant to whatever keywords you type in. And so every day you'll get an email uh, about topics that you can write about. Another thing that you can do is you can subscribe to RSS feeds. If you're not familiar with RSS feeds, it stands for Real Simple Syndication. Um, 
most blogs and a lot of forums and most news websites have what's called an RSS feed and this makes it very simple for you to have um, to have their ongoing new content sent to you in what's called an RSS reader but if you don't have an RSS reader you can also subscribe by email it's very simple and easy so you can have again this is just one more way to have fresh content fresh ideas sent to you in your inbox so you can use this to brainstorm topics and write about it on your blog and then what you can do is you can go to Google Calendar and set up reminders and this is a way for you to say let's say you set up a reminder on Tuesday and another one on Thursday and the Tuesday one said um, write about one of the news items that you found in the last uh, five days so Tuesday you're gonna get an email from Google saying it's time to write uh, another blog post and then on Thursday you get another reminder saying uh, write um, write a, another blog post on some tangential subject well how do you brainstorm tangential subjects one thing you can do is you can grab a piece of um, legal pad or any sort of piece of paper and do what's called a mind map so let me show you what a mind map looks like here's an online version of a mind map this is a free website you can go to bubbl.us and let's say that I was promoting uh, products for the dog training market so you might think just very literally okay we have to talk about dog training videos and dog training CDs and the whole blog is going to be about nothing but dog training not necessarily what you can do is you can start brainstorming and no sort of higher th there's no order to this so that's why I like the mind maps you can just start thinking whatever comes to mind you can just draw a line draw a line draw a circle on your page and then write something else so dog food how many different types of dog food are there you could talk about the pros and cons of the different type of dog food dry versus wet I don't have a dog but I know that there's lots of different types of dog food dog toys you could go off on you could be be writing for weeks about all the different dog toys dog toys that have been recalled dog to toys that just came out different colored dog toys um, dog medications for fleas for ticks for this for that dog shampoos so there's all sorts of different things that you could write about all related to dogs well how does this all relate back to someone buying a dog training uh, CD or video well it's not directly related but if someone's searching for articles on uh, on dog food or dog meds they're gonna come across they're, they're gonna start reading your blog and they're gonna say hey this guy or gal really knows what they're talking about and here's this article on dog training hey Fido is a little bit out of control and they say this DVD is really great maybe I should buy it that's how it works plus if you have Google Google likes fresh new content and that's just a, is a oversimplification of what Google wants they want relevant fresh new content so if all you're gonna write about is dog training you're gonna run out of ideas about five articles in but if you're writing about all sorts of different things related to dogs dog food dog news dog meds dog toys dog shampoos etc 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 dog insurance you could write about dog insurance they actually have that they have dog insurance so by writing about all these different articles you're gonna a plus you're getting all these alerts um, from Google getting more ideas from RSS feeds you're gonna have just a ton of information a ton of stuff that you can write about you're not gonna run out of out of ideas and the more that you do this the easier it's gonna be so the set it and forget it approach to blogging is to have Google and um, an RSS reader send all of this new content to you and then use Google Calendar to send you alerts to remind you hey it's time to make another blog post but I'll tell you the easiest thing is to uh, brainstorm up front write as many articles as you can and then schedule them to go out um, two days from now three days after that three days after that three days after that and so if you give yourself a month to a month and a half of cushion then you don't feel like you have to write one every single day so those are some ideas about how to set it and forget it as far as things that you can do today go sign up for wordpress.com or blogger.com go change your email signatures and your forum signatures these are things that you can do today and who knows maybe next week next month or 11 months from now you'll see that commission check roll in and you will be thrilled